Okay, so I'm doing the one box challenge. None of these guys are. Um, I'm doing this in a public game just because, uh, why not? See how many, see how competitive it is. Plus this is kind of just a, a warm up. Um, and it allows us to spend less money here. All the cheats you doodlies. But it is still, it's a one box challenge. I am not going to camp with these guys. I am going to do whatever. On my own. They've already gone through a round. Or two, I guess. Whatever. Okay. So, I'm allowing myself the RK5 just because I'm going to run out of points with the MR6 here. So, I'm allowing myself to grant the um, RK5 here, and I'm going to allow myself to pack punch this. However, if I do pack punch this, um, I am only allowed to use it when my uh, one when my box weapon runs out of ammo. So I can't like go through. So I can't go through this and then use. So I can't like if I get a, a Wonder Wolf, I can't go through this and then the Wonder Wolf ammo. I have to go through the Wonder Wolf ammo first. Um, and it does actually look like the box is back there. So Mule Kick was in there. Hopefully, Jugs in there. Okay, so Jugs either gonna be in its original place. Yep. Awesome. You better not have hit the box where I get a fucking teddy bear. <sighs> okay, I'll take, you know what, I'll take the Draken. So I'm gonna be going for, uh, just quick revive because- ah! I'm gonna go for, uh, whatever it's fucking called, quick revive. I'm only gonna try, I'm gonna see if I get monkeys. I'm gonna allow myself monkeys. Nope. That would have been a good short, uh, good thing too. So I'm gonna go Draken and RK5, I guess. So this is just the warm up, you know, test my uh, skills. Right. Jesus. Uh, I'm just using some stock double gums. Double gums. Double gum. I've been on a zombies like craze lately, so. So since I'm in a public match, I don't want to be. I'm gonna die. Fuck. Uh, I'm going to uh, be kind of training slash camping. Um, nowhere near them. This, if I go down, they have to come and get me. But if I'm almost dead, I can't rely on them to save me. Like, I have to rely on myself to just not get myself, uh, not to die here. I am not grabbing that either. I'm going to only allow the base drops. Uh, but Death Machine is just going to be super easy. So. I mean, you don't get me. Uh. And make it harder, I'm um, not going to be doing a double pack a punch either, so, not double. I am allowed to buy ammo. Uh, for the RK5, but I'm only allowed to use it once I run out of ammo for this dragon. Pack ammo pack. So this is going to be kind of my tra training area, uh, right here. Uh, that, or if none of them go back by catwalk, I'm going to probably train back there. That's a pretty decent spot to train. Uh, in the foundry over, over there, where uh, Mule is, that's a pretty decent area too. You can get rid of this one. if I die, whatever. And if I die, I, um... I basically can only uh, hit the box in So, it's a, it's a one box challenge for life since I can be revived. Uh, or not revived, but since I can respawn if I can die. Really, it isn't a, a necessary full of a challenge if you have people with you. However, uh, I'm just doing some warm ups pretty much today. I'm gonna get some people to maybe do it with. And well, like a almost like a competitive thing, so I can do it with Ooh. Okay, I do wanna actually grab Jug though. Jug is so good. At Plus, it's in its original spot from Doris. Like, I don't want to come back here ever again. I hate this. I hate this spot. I hate it in, like, when I played World at War Doris. Like, oh, man, it sucked, like, having to get shit. Or the Juggernaut when I was, like, oh, up. It sucked getting Jug when you uh, run, if you were, like, high rounds. So, I just couldn't play for anything, you know, it sucked. So, getting it on, like, round. Any low round is like, as hard as ever. Can I can't aim it. Yeah, yeah, I know this guy's near me, but, I mean, he seems focusing on the zombies that go through there. Which, I guess, 
They don't come after me, but I have that whole spawn area on my left here and the little starting room to worry about. Plus, if I do train down there, um, or even, uh, even if I don't go down there, they do actually come up that fence, which can pinch me. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Pretty much right now, it's, you know, it's very chill, it's very calming, not that hard, around 7. No. It's pretty, pretty damn easy, but I mean... So yeah, these are my gobble gums. If you're wondering, nothing special. I'm just running very uh, like gobble gums. You don't need to spend for dominium with. Uh, that's how something. That's better. get use dominium. Get. There we go. So I. Oh, the red hex came up. That's one of my favorite uh, games. Right? Very nice game. Up. We're gonna train here, I think. One guy. Thank you. you? Maybe it's not one hit. Huh. Thought it was a uh, one shot. Him. I am not getting that carpenter. Not that like I'm not allowing myself, it's just gonna make this a little easier. Have another board up. Oh, I actually hit one with the nade. This was just random. Where is speed again? Speed's in back there. Guys. I think I'm actually gonna get double first, just because if I do run out of ammo, which I probably am, I at least have a little bit of the you know, a little firepower. That's not good. Um, I don't. I mean, technically the annihilator isn't a wall by weapon, it's more a box weapon. So we could try to go for the annihilator pistol. That would be... Oh, here's another. I hear them behind me. Oh, no, there's another. Now, if I end up making my way over to them, and I, I might, you know, end up screwing myself because they do spawn, and they do go if they're on catwalk. They do spawn down here and stuff, and they jump down. So, I might end up screwing myself if I need to go over there, other than end around stuff. I'm trying to isolate myself here. Social distancing. Corona, you know. Or stay away from them. Yeah, we are going to go with speed. Oh, I forgot how to jump slide. Although it's not that hard, but I am technically lagging, uh, lagging on the lag. Evidently, I'm not anymore. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong bar. I'm retarded. So, the quick revive is basically just if I need to revive anybody and I'm like, I need a clutch up or something. Uh, that's about it. For the most part. I am not going to try to purposely waste ammo. I'm going to make every shot that I have count. I aim okay. So the Draken is honestly for a box pull, it's a pretty good weapon for a one-box challenge. For this e you know, I have the ELO on it, so I don't have any zoom or anything. Which makes it even better for um, some close quarter action. Doggo, stop eating my ass. Oh, oh, oh what are you doing? Alright, fucking spawn of fluffy looking ass. Which, if you didn't know, the hellhounds in this game are actually, uh, it's a dog that was teleported, I believe. Either to, like, the Griffin Station, like, Moon, like, Samantha. Or whatnot. I think that's the case. And basically, it was experiment. It was a dog that was experimented on that I think was teleported with Samantha from here. The, uh, I believe that's how Samantha gets on the moon and in the uh, good old Illuminati pyramid thing in Mabob. I've forgotten what it's fucking called. The pyramid on moon, anyways. Uh, the Easter egg. Samantha pops out. Swaps bodies with Rick Poppin, I believe. Slash Rick Poppin's. I think that's the story or whatever. I haven't launched any zombie shit in so long. But, uh... Now that happens, and I think that Fluffy is the result of... That, like, teleportation or whatever, of the experiment ship. Experimented dog on Doggo. Oh, I almost grabbed that, uh... Because, one, Rink Toffin on this map, says the spawn of Fluffy, but it is his younger self, which means it isn't, like, the Rick Toppin who teleports Maxis and Samantha. Which is a little odd, because Origins takes place before this. Technically. Right? I don't know. Anyways, but, uh... Yeah, uh, the Hellhounds are actually, uh, 
Samantha's dog. Rest in peace. I just realized that there's an actual guy here. Whatever gun he has, I apparently isn't killing him. Ayo, fast mags. I'll take that. And since we're here. Evil, like energy, cannot be destroyed. I love transfer. the upgraded um, Draken. I grow One of my favorite guns to use. Mean for our future. German, your actions defy reason. But you seem driven by a sense of purpose. Takeo? Takeo. Takeo. I think Dempsey calls him Takeo and Rick Coffin calls him Takeo. Which I never understood. Now, I can't remember what I have to shoot back there. Ah, uh, right. Button. Let's play, Let's hide, play and hide and seek. Rolls now that is a good Yep. Those were her exact words. Emphasis on her. As in die rise. Ha. That's why, for some odd reason, I used to joke that this map was called die rise and not Durris. I really have zero idea why. And that was before like BO2 days. But, uh, anyways, this is, I can't remember I, what it gave you in the, uh, in the original map, but you could, uh, pretty much activate that thingy outside of the map, I believe, um, which would activate a game of hide and seek, as it has. Um, pretty much, uh, you do it. In this game, it gives you the Annihilator, uh, Revolver, for a multiplayer, which is an explosive revolver in this game. I'm uh, pretty sure it is also in multiplayer. But, uh, there are little, so there's sometimes there's one there. I think there's one in here. I, I can't remember where all the spots are. Is that a Holy Jesus. <laughs> Actually fucking kind of terrified me. Uh, I can't remember where all the, um... Oh, fuck. Uh, all the spots were. I know there's one up there. And where I looked. Oh, no, it's one up. Yeah, we found one. I can hear it. Oh, they, they found one. It sounds so fucking... Just, he's depressed, okay? Guys, honestly, I think it's Maxis, if I remember correctly. I believe this is Maxis talking to us. It's obviously, like, he lost his daughter because of the teleportation. Shit. Yada yada. I think there's one in here. I can't remember. I don't know. I'm pretty much just looking around the map for teddy bears. I do know that there is one that I saw into that case. That's definitely a thing. There's one that spawns in the foundry, actually. The, uh... Whatever it's called, the, the little, like, uh... Hi! How are you doing? Up here. Uh, by teleporter, what, C? Or B, I guess? There's one that spawns in... I don't know if one spawns in there, but there is a teddy bear. The fuck? Oh, can I actually like? Oh my god! I'm just gonna take a fucking break after this, dude. So it actually. Huh? I can't tell. That is one. I don't think it is. Why don't we have that as a stand-in for the uh, Carnegie AK? But I guess probably because it is good, honestly. If we had like the Draken fall by for like the Carnegie AK, 
or the locusts or like the SMG or anything. I'm gonna hit the nuke. I ah, have I wish this guy was over where I'm at, so... But, you know, whatever. I could always stand up there, I guess. Just camp up there. Now, if we were both doing a one-box challenge, like, if I had this guy with me, honestly, wouldn't mind standing by him. Technically, we're doing the same thing. But it would make it a little easier. So hopefully, the, if that guy dies, I mean, whew, good. But I mean, I haven't, I haven't gone down, and even if I had, I would have a quick revive, so I would be able to pick myself up. So technically, is it really that bad? But I might do this again either just by myself, or just stay quiet, by myself or with some people. What was that? Uh, great. Um, sweet. This this guy right here. He screwed us. Although it's probably gonna say I lost connection. But I think that was that's for everybody. Yep, lost connection to those. Well, here's my divinium spinning. For garlic? Hey! Shit! I don't want any of that. None of it. Probably not gonna ever use it. For garlic. I would have taken the disorderly combat. Or bullet boost. But, damn, fuck you. <laughs> Okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna change it up here. We are gonna play what's a chaotic kind of harder map. We're gonna play Girl or Kobe. It's a very uh with the dragons and stuff. We're gonna do one box go rod. Um, just because it's a bit of a harder map. It's easy to set up. It's just a bit of a harder map. Now, what I am not allowing myself to do is to spin the box and then not pick up the weapon because technically it is i've spun the box but if i don't grab it technically i didn't you know, i didn't pick up the gun so it's not a you know it's not the one box use in a sense but if some people do that which in that case you might as well just <laughs> grab the gun because you're spinning anyways so this is whatever gun I get, I gotta deal with it. Um, but just uh, land the RK5 just because it's a bit of a weaker gun. Because it's a starting gun, but I mean. Especially if it comes down to the RK5, it's really not gonna save me. So, hopefully, we get the PPSH. If we got the PPSH, oh, that would be fun. That would be not just fun, nostalgic, but nice. Because, like, oh, excuse me. Holy shit. That was close. It's got a lot of ammo. It's nice. It's, it's a great gun. Come here. Acquire dry an egg, headshot, destroy arm, cannon, kill 100. If we, if we get the dragon strike, 
one box challenge dragon strike which I'm pretty much I am gonna allow the shield I'm pretty much you can do oh, I don't need shield. you can do this a bit differently I'm allowing buildable I am allowing buildables except for buildable one weapons I am not gonna allow that so um, definitely I don't want to allow that but I think because technically it's, uh, it's not a buildable the dragon strike the shield I am just gonna have but not use the uh, shield blast I am gonna limit myself to not be able to use that um, so the you know the network controller is obviously just to pretty much get to back a bunch I have not yet tasted flavor of um, cuttlefish I expect I never will cuttlefish man we need their tack oops and we got a raindrops right that's why we just got yeah. I have widow's wine okay I'll take it I fucking love widow's wine although it was nerfed because you could evidently I didn't even fucking know this you could throw a widow's wine grenade right kill a ton of other thing uh, zombies with it ah I could also use feet. Cool. I really hope I die now. I don't. I fucking don't want the shadow. I have to use them too. Like, this is the worst freaking part about this. I have to use the shadow claws before I use the arcade bot. Early rounds, I'm not mad. Just annoyed. Oh, I forgot you can't aim the ADS because it's a fucking. <clears throat> oh man. Yeah, yeah. Can we turn on power? Like, oh Jesus. That was power. Oh, thank Christ. Maxis. Where's the bottle? Where's the battle? Sophie, uh. Maxis! Yeah! Ooh, I can revive my teammates. God, I'm actually annoyed! I don't think I have ever. I've gotten them. I haven't gotten them in my couple of zombie gameplay. Who took the goddamn flower pot? You bitch. I don't even know what it's for. So. You don't even. The worst part is you don't even get the bayonets on them. Like, you gotta actually use a knife. Like, what is this bullshit? I mean, I guess they're cool to revive. They suck! Okay, it's round four and they're still bad. How are these on round four this bad? Honest to God. Interaction. Like, I should probably just be shooting, like, my left one, and then, while reloading, shoot the right one. How are you two- how are you guys- Jesus fucking Christ. Get the fuck up. Oh, and of course he fucking leaves. No, good. I'm glad he left because if I lose connection, I don't have to deal with these and shit. Cause it's like obviously like zombies are far fetched, but you know the storyline's amazing, and then you get fucking like dragons. You know you start to fade away. It's like I say far fetched as in this game supposed to be like realistic or any zombie games. But I mean it's like it's in the realm. Like we have virus, you know, zombie like virus. It's, Nothing that turns you into the, you know, the undead man walking. But it is cool to see. Why are you a zombie? Maybe that's why you crashed. What happened? Anyways. So, uh, if you, let's do, you know, a tutorial here for the, you know, game that came out in 2015. Right here, vodka bottle. Boom. Hold X. Whatever your interact key is. Bada bing, bada boom. 
Number one, Vadka. Number two, Vadka. Boom, you hear that noise? That <laughs> noise? Yep, that's exactly how it sounds. <laughs> Run! Oh, giving up. I'm giving up. Oh, I just realized I'm not going to have ammo by the end of this. Oh, no, that's not good. You're on the other side. You would be on the other side. Nope, yeah, double points real fucking useful. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. I need this box weapon so right now. Are you shitting me? I'm 10 points open. Oh. It would be 10 points away. It would be my goddamn luck. There we go. Give me max ammo. Come on, somebody just use the raindrops right now. Shield, shield, shield. Where's the sh shield part? Shield part? Where is the shield part? I've forgotten! Fuck it, I need a gun. Hello, the fuck. And oh, yeah. I hate the iron sights, but I'm, mm, okay. Uh, this right. Maybe fucking thank you. I don't. I was just. I was just gonna go get a Groff module or go put the Groff module in, and then I had to think about it. Axis, you wanker! Ah! Yo, Deathin. Maybe that's what- maybe I shouldn't even get the RK5, I don't know. So, last vodka bottle. Old Russian Bravo, those who demand payment in blood, will one day demand oh. yours. Hey Nikolai, what does it have to do with opening doors with in-game money that's not actually real money, it's just points that you had gotten that you don't even realize you got, probably? Anyways, down to zero points. Last one is in here by Sped Cola. And after three of them, you got this dope ass fucking music. It is one of my favorites. Uh, somebody did this before I even knew it existed. Um, he immediately looked up the Easter egg, how to do it. And um, I love this song. Um, I can't remember what the actual song is called, but it. Top tip. Honestly, listen to it. If you want some good, you know, like, songs, if you're into these types of songs from, like, COD, just literally look up any Call of Duty, like, Easter egg song. All of them are amazing, in my opinion. Now, I'm not mad about getting a trash. 100 and, like, 400, something like that. Oh. Oh, the plant's not here. What was the fucking plant for? I actually don't know, and that kind of pisses me off. Um, I shouldn't sing, because I suck. Anyways. Uh, oh, there's the dragon. The dragon piece. Shield piece. Drop module under attack. Oh, why?! Uh, 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 and soon. I better get fucking points for this shit. <laughs> and we're mind oh, of course. We're, we'll we'll just go back to the giant. <laughs> Yay, impatient. Absolutely useless. Eight zombies with the elevator. Arms on Valks. Bravmon Podrigal. Okay, that last one's kind of hard. Why? Because if I don't get... Even if I miss one... Well, 
Well, no. Wait, no, no, no. Because you can get more than one graph module now. I think about it. It's just the first three are for the parts, and then the la uh, any others give you um, um uh, weapon drop drops. They just they give you drops, not weapon drops. It looks like to be this side. Oh no, is he? Oh, okay. I saw so I thought this guy was running in place. Maybe he was just running against us. Let's hope that was the case, because I don't want to lie down. Or have somebody get pissed and disconnect. Which happens. Alright, round two, and I'm already complaining. So I love the Easter eggs on all of the zombie maps ever. Like, Origins genuinely is probably one of my favorite Easter eggs just because it kind of sets up the storyline. <laughs> Back up! I don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, anyways, Origins kind of, you know, sets up the, um, not shitty chaos, um, storyline. Uh, Ether storyline. Sets up, that's what it's called. Insect. So it sets up the Ether storyline with our four main characters, our classic. Just realize these are 9 through 5 doors. The more you know. But, um. Anyways, so. Yeah, I want to get a crew together. Alright, listen. If there are people out there who want to do this with me, that would be lovely. I want to get somebody here. More than just me, because I suck at video games. As I say, way too often. I want to get some people together. Three other people. I want to do all the Easter eggs on Black Ops 3. Which technically, and then we, well, we would spawn with an RK5. So if I ever do this challenge again. In times of stress, honest labor helps put mind at ease. But uh, I do want to get. I do want to do the Easter eggs. Um, I was just so. <laughs> Black Ops 2 Origins is backwards compatible from the 360 to the Xbox One, and so I the other I would say what like a week or two ago, I was basically setting up everything the East to get the Easter egg done. So I got all the staves, got all the staves upgraded. I was pumped. I was excited. Uh, got him all inside of the um, giants and the fire staff in by or in its new placeholder down where all the other staffs are game crash second try game crash <laughs> just getting the second staff up game crash uh, and then I got him in the giants game didn't crash and then I don't know if either a I broke something or B, I wasn't doing something right. Uh, from so the tutorial I was following was from Mr. Raffle Waffles on Black Ops 3 for the Chronicles Origins, not the BO2 Origins. I just went with why would they change it for BO3 as all the game mechanics are basically the same, just zombies might be harder or faster. And one of the parts. Which I then late, or which today, I know is now not incorrect due to somebody just going around with theater mode glitch and checking out the map in theater mode, uh, like outside the map, exploring. Uh, I can't remember who was doing it, but it was exploring um, Origins, which uh, this guy was doing for um, more than just Origins and BO2 maps. Anyways, so. In that case, is it on the other side? Yeah. Sorry. So he was he was looking around the map, yada yada, you know. And he goes over to the pit where the pansies come out, and he literally said that that's where the pit, or that's where the pansies come out, you know, which is breaking the seal with the uh, air uh, support monkey things. I don't know what they're called. After you do the little uh, ring, the little stone tablet, the little stone ring, um, off of the table where the ice record spawns in the tank station. After you do that, you get these little monkeys that you know rain down hellfire, but they're not actual monkeys. You get two of them, uh, and it rains down like an air support. Um, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to click the red button inside of said any giant, which in solo is the easiest choice in the middle one. 
Um, but you would click that button, hop out, and then throw your device over on that stone, um, the little stone pack, which would, after rain down the missiles, would break it, and it would open, and panzers would basically come out after you put a maxis, throw the maxis around into it. Now, I tried for round after round, nothing. And so I just gave up. Um, and inevitably, the game crashed, so I didn't even have to actually give up. Oh, I love damage grand dog. One of my favorite weapons from this, uh, zombie, so just from BO3, actually. Even in the multiplayer. I don't know if it's going multiplayer. Oh, no. just multiplayer. Da, 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 da. I'm assuming you got hit by the dragonfire, which just sucks, honestly. I, didn't, I wasn't trying to troll you there, Chief. Uh, so I was gonna- I normally- I normally would run out of ammo for the, uh, <clears throat> the MX Grand, but I'm almost out on the Shivas anyway. Get right! Fight! So, the only thing, obviously, that I really hate is that you have to use all- slash, or shoot all your bullets before you reload. Which, it is not a bad thing. Because I just don't like it, but I can't. Because, technically, you don't actually have to do that. The ammo Grand. But also, technically, the M1 brand isn't the MX brand. You wanna maybe cover me, Chief? Just slacking? Hey, can we go turn power on? Did we turn power on? Where's Mule Kick? No, we didn't turn power on. Yeah, you see here, there, I, I know that we didn't turn power on. I knew we didn't turn power on because I couldn't see the Mule Kick. Did I just hear mention of the elusive Dr. Maxis? Maxis is a fucking phony. A big fat phony. Uh oh. So it looks like, um, if I do like out, we're gonna be ending the stream, because this guy is the host, and left. And I lost connection, because he, um, can, uh... I keep a photograph.